Oh my god, look at his face. He just <laughs> <laughs> I had the best spear fishing I've had since we got here. And I caught a grouper last night. So good. I don't know, see, it's always kind of a crapshoot, so we'll see how it turns out. Oh, that smells great. Yeah, it does. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and we just got a boat parked really close to us. We're Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly all of our belongings, moved onto a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. Embarking on the adventure of a lifetime. God. This is the story of us forging our own path, exploring the world in Via, figuring it all out as we go, and making our way. Sí. Red snapper. Ooh. Yeah. Sí, dos solamente. Yeah. Yeah. Mi nombre es Beto. Beto? Miguel? Miguel? Yeah. yeah. Taylor. Yeah. Taylor. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mucho gusto. Y feliz Navidad. Yeah, feliz Navidad. I know that one. <laughs> Gracias. So that fisherman, uh, his name is Beto, who just sold us this beautiful red snapper lives on a little island, I think it's called El Coyote, and it's just, I mean, it's like a rock, just north of Isla San Francisco. We haven't been by it yet, but I guess there's a little fishing community that lives on it. It's one of the only inhabited islands in the Sea of Cortez. Um, and it's just like a few families that are s subsistence fishermen and got us some Christmas dinner yeah. for five bucks. Was it five bucks? That's mm -hmm. awesome. This is the first place that we've been that um, has had this sort of door-to-door -door kinda yeah. Service. And you don't even have to swim to get Christmas dinner. I know, I mean, I, maybe I still will because it's fun. Yeah, that's awesome. If you want to know how to entertain two bird dogs. <laughs> I don't care at all about this delicious fish I'm flying in front of them. Sir, sir, isn't there somewhere you need to be? No? That's good, thank you for notifying us. Oh, there's a little puffer fish coming over to say hi. I saw that big boy while I was pulling Oh my there. god, look at his face! He just, <laughs> what the fuck's going on, bud? Hi! Are you hungry? He smells the fish. He right? smells the fish. Bye! Uh, spear fishing. Sometimes they're just like, sitting in like the middle of the water column, just like, and, I, and I'm always looking down, you know? So yeah. I'm worried that I'm just one day gonna swim right into one, because they don't give a shit. That no, there. they don't. They obviously have good weaponry. They yeah. are very nonchalant about like a landmine. What's in that? It's avocado, mayo, lime, cilantro, sort of like a, Ooh. yeah. Gonna break that up. 
These might be the dankest fish tacos we ever made. That looks so good. This is Mike's first grouper. Merry almost Christmas. Merry almost Christmas Eve, really. I think it's safe to say that that's my favorite fish you've ever spear shot. Yeah. Spear fished. That's like, super good. Yeah. I think I'll even maybe like this better than the Dorado. Mahi's pretty good. It is, it's different. It's Very just different. that's just like so light. This is like meaty. It's okay. It's bueno. It's bueno. It's bueno. So this is our anchorage for Christmas. We got in last night and it's awesome so far. We had the best spear fishing I've had since we got here. There's a place like right around the point eh, over there with tons of fish, good sized fish, dozens of grouper. And I caught a grouper last night. It was so good. Maybe the best fish I've ever had. We have fish for tonight, that snapper we bought from Beto, the local fisherman. I'm hoping I can get out there, it's a little windy right now, hoping I can get out there and get us some Christmas dinner. Oh. It is Christmas Eve, and so far it's been a lovely day. I went for a walk this morning on the beach by myself that was just a delight. The kids got to go swimming, which was amazing. I have been in here cooking for quite a while, so I'm kind of sweaty now. And we just got a boat parked really close to us while Mike was out doing some spear fishing, and it's kind of a bummer because it's always a little bit uncomfortable telling people to move or tell them that they didn't, you know, anchor well, but it's not good. I just paddle over to talk to them. We are definitely within like bumping distance, especially in the night when the wind dies and everybody just kind of floats around. Well, they reset. They're far away now. So crisis averted and uh, commence with the Christmas Eve festivities. Like eating, basically eating and, and cooking. That's really good. This spot is pretty amazing. Look at these salt flats in here. And the mountains, the colors in here remind me of Yellowstone with the red and the yellow. And it's just so striking. Because when you're down on the beach, you know, there's a bunch of boats parked in the thing and then the waves are crashing pretty hard so it's a little noisy um you know there's just like there's kind of things going on but then you kind of crest this dune and you can't hear the waves anymore and you're just kind of in this wide expanse all alone it's so quiet back here I don't 
no, there's something really special about this. I just can't get over it. I just stand in these salt flats for days and just stare at everything. <laughs> Okay, I could truly sit here all day, but I think it's time to go rinse off and make a delicious feast for Christmas Eve dinner. I've never roasted a whole fish before, so we are trying this out. I have no idea how to go, but this recipe looks amazing. It's got coconut milk and lime and garlic and cilantro, and so we're gonna give it a go. How is it cooking a big holiday meal on a boat? It's got its, it's, got its uh, challenges, but it's good. Space a little? Space is a little toy, but you know what? It's alright. It works out. Also, this oven takes uh, substantially longer to cook things than... Ooh, it's pretty outside. Wow. Oh, that smells great. Yeah, it does. Oh. Wow. Let's see my cocktail here. I didn't really make it up. I got it from a magazine, but uh, I tweaked it a little bit. It's whiskey. And amaro and lemon juice. And then I got a spicy simple syrup. Look at that. Wow. a cucumber and tomato green bean salad with some nuts and the dressing is just like lime juice and brown sugar and fish sauce sort of a Thai oh. Thai salad this is a whole roast snapper with lime and coconut milk and garlic and this is that coconut corn with jalapeno and ginger and onion so thanks I'm impressed today. first time doing a whole fish So it's moving via to the other side of this gorgeous anchorage. We had somebody come in while we were eating dinner last night, sort of after dark, an anchor just, a, just kind of strangely close to us. This is a huge anchorage, there's so much room, and they were really on top of us. And uh, we were up all night watching them, and we got way closer than we're comfortable with um, over, over the course of the evening. And anyway, we just woke up and we just decided that. That side of the anchorage is totally empty, so we're just gonna go zoom over there, and then we're gonna make breakfast and enjoy a leisurely relaxed Christmas morning. <laughs> it might be a nap today, because uh, neither of us really slept last night. <laughs> so.
extra egg. Oh, lucky me. You get three. Lucy only gets two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. this is um really the only like serious Christmas tradition that I grew up with. And I've spent the last like ten Christmases with your family. So we brought this to your house and I cook this every morning and uh I don't know, we'll see, it's always kind of a crapshoot, so we'll see how it turns out. But it looked good. I think you did a good job without having, um, what do you call them, English muffins. Later that day, we piled into Chandler and headed back out to the point to see if we couldn't catch some Christmas dinner. every time. Oh, you gave it a good effort, Mike. Yeah. Let's go make a bread. And a soup. And a soup. And warm up. By the Christmas fire. <laughs> That's a pretty fish, though. Yeah, then it's nice. Good just, yeah. Good just. Next time on Sailing Via, we continue exploring the paradise of Isla San Francisco. This is one of the coolest hikes I've probably ever done, I think. By land and by sea before pushing north again and riding out some wild wind. Mike, hold on, honey. <sighs> There's still good bits. Looks good. You got a big vein in your head for this angle. Let's go, so excited about this. Oh God, it's like really, it's, <clears throat> no, Mike, I don't like that. It's super weird. Oh, don't. <laughs> so excited for this fish.